All right, guys, when it comes to boosting a vehicle, C-Tech changes the whole game. With this device, the CS3 totally changes everything. Let me show you why. It's all in the name. All right, so I'm here at Sub 60 Racing. As you can see, there's a fleet of vehicles here that are in storage right now, because in Canada, a lot of us don't drive our cars in the winter. I figured this would be the perfect spot to test out this Charger. So I was thinking, there's gotta be, at least one of these cars gotta be dead, and there's gonna be a different types of batteries, because they're all different types of vehicles here. So let's go check them out, and let's find out what this battery charger can do. You fan? You wanna check out what's inside this box? Or I wanna show you what's inside this box. I think you'd be, uh, you'd be pretty uh, excited to see it since you have a lot of cars here. Yeah, I think sure. This would come in handy. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is the first time I've opened this box, and uh, this is the, uh, the actual charger itself. It still has the plastic on it. Let's just take that out. This is it. I hope there's battery in here, so it'd be kind of a downer if we don't have enough battery, but should have enough juice to start up one of these cars. So you get the charger, your charging cables, charging block. And if you live in other countries like uh, over in Asia or Europe, you got all your adapters to, for all your other outlets if you're abroad. I don't think we can take this on the airplane. You know, in the check-in. Yeah. Check-in, right? Not carry-on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah check-on. Yeah. yeah. So, we can take it with you. To truly test what the CS3 is all about, uh, we gotta find a car that it's actually dead. So, you find, do you have any car that, or what are these cars mostly on? Yours is on lithium battery, right? Yeah. The lithium. Supra is on AGM. AGM. And then, do you have any uh, lead acid? Uh, yeah, just that the, car. The red one in the back? Yeah, that one is dead. So, that one's dead, right? That one's dead. That okay, one's okay. Dead. Okay, so let me go over the features with him, because it's this is totally new to him right now. Okay, so the main feature on this one, it can boost a car. Okay. Okay, so what do you normally, right now, what are you using to boost a car? Uh, whatever is the, the little... <laughs> oh, one of those Amazon. What is like, it like, NoCo, <laughs> NoCo Boost Plus. Okay, and look at this thing. So, yeah. relatively, okay, a little bigger on this one, but how many times can you boost the Quite a few not, times. Not many times. Not many times? This one, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this, because, okay. uh, yeah, like most of the time it doesn't work very well. All right, so you find this gonna show us that it's actually truly dead dead, that there's no juice in this uh, RX-7. We know how reliable RX-7s are. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's dead? Super dead. No juice, eh? Okay. RX-7 for you. Oh, hi Lee, how are you? Good. Just finally show up to work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just go get the CS3. I'm going to show you guys. You can totally tell I'm really excited about this one. So, so on the CS3, there's a charging output input. So you can charge with the cable that they gave us. You can charge for boosting. You can use the charge output, which is the yellow one. Okay. I'm going to move out of the way so I can get the camera. You're gonna turn this on, hold it down for three seconds, and it lights up. So there's four LEDs in here. And so each one of them is basically 25%. So right now we're at 75% straight out of the box because there's three of them lit up. Um, so you, let's say you since you can't tell if it's, <laughs> it's negative or positive, we'll just plug it in. Because it is a, a smart charger, See, it tells you right away, so you can't screw up the polarity, so you can't damage the vehicle. And that's the nice thing about this one. Mm -hmm. There's a, a onboard circuit board that tells you. So since I plugged it in wrong. Okay, so because it's fully dead, see how it's flashing now? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a, roughly about 15 minutes. And it'll give it, it'll charge up the battery just enough to guess the start the vehicle. So we'll be right back. We'll give it 50 minutes. Once it stops flashing, then we're gonna start the car. We'll be right back, guys. So the CS3 is basically analyzing the battery to see if it will take the charge. So unfortunately, this battery is like toast. So that's why it's lit up red now, saying that the battery won't take its charge. So it's 
no good. So unfortunately, it won't start. <laughs> but you can still boost it, isn't it? No, because this is like, uh, it won't take the charge. Because what happens, this one gives, it charges up the battery enough so that it'll start. But okay. the battery, because the battery won't even take the charge. Okay, but uh, is it can be a, a booster? Oh no, this is not booster. No, it's no, like it's smart. It's like smart, so it won't allow you. It to won't allow you to boost. Because that's the thing with this one. Mm -hmm. So CTEX basically says, when you boost your vehicle, because you have like the important, like let's say um, a lot of the new cars have sensors or you ECU. have like ECU that it's, that it's, you don't want that to kill it. Because uh -huh. if you shock it with the traditional boost cables, yeah. mm -hmm. that's why this uh, CTEC doesn't, doesn't allow you to do that. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So do you have another car that we can try? All right guys, so we're gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna try on the NSX here. So the CTEC is gonna basically analyze the battery to see if this one will take the charge. So we're gonna set you guys up over here. Where's the battery? Oh, right there, I see it now. There you go, we're gonna try it again on this one. This is a lead acid battery, you guys. Hopefully it works. So red again. <laughs> All right, so courtesy of CTEC Canada, they sent us one of these uh, comfort indicators uh, that I figured that, you know what, we can throw into Yifan's car here because it's kind of not as easy to access and then he can always see if his battery's good or not because mm -hmm. okay, I asked him, is battery good? And he says, should be. <laughs> but at least now you don't have to uh, guess anymore. So I'll let him uh, plug that in and then we'll, uh, we'll show you how it works. Yeah, okay, so Yifan got all hooked up and it's uh, lighting up green, so meaning it's fully charged. So he is right, his battery is good. It's good. <laughs> Finally, only one. Okay. So the nice thing about this one, it tells you if it's mm -hmm. basically green, it's fully charged. Uh, yellow is basically half, and red is basically fully discharged. Mm -hmm. So you can, because your fan uses a CTEC charger, all you have to do is just plug it into here, right. and it'll start trickle charging him. Oh. Good to go. See your fan, so now it's, it's mm. not blinking anymore, so right. that means it's ready to uh, start, start the car. So as you can see here, it depleted the, uh, the charger itself, so it's, now it's starting to blink. So right. we'll go ahead and start this one up, and then I'll explain to you guys how to uh, charge this. There's multiple ways of charging this charger. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it now. And then you fan going to go ahead and start it. Nice. So I just look up this uh, charger here, the, the brick, and the output, the total, uh, total output maximum is 60 watt. That means if your phone has like a quick charger, you can just bring this. So you can actually use that to charge, charge your phone if your phone like equipped with a quick charger. So you don't need to bring an extra phone charger. brick, eh? Yeah. Well, that's, that's awesome. And it's a USB-C. <laughs> Right? Yeah. You learn something new every day. Lee, if you looked at that, you know the more of the specs on this. It has to be a 66 watt per hour? Okay, I just look it up. Uh, like, you have to do like a calculation conversion. So, 66 watt per hour, and then I enter the voltage. So, it gave me 5,945 milliamp. Uh, so, the capacity of this unit is almost 6,000. So I think the newer Samsung phone or newer phone, like they are around like 3,000 or 4,500. Yeah. So it's actually bigger than a phone uh, battery. But I think the reason why is this big is because they have like circuit boards yeah. and all that kind of stuff in there. So pretty good stuff. <laughs> Isn't that incredible that you can actually use the Thankfully, you can use the Samsung to start your car. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so now the CS3 is actually indicating it's low on battery. It's roughly about 25% left on it now. Uh, there's several ways that you can actually charge it. You can plug it into the, the wall, just like as normal. You can also get charging cable clamps that you can plug in right into your battery to charge up the CTEC. CTEC's got you covered. 
All right, so you're probably wondering how you're gonna charge the CS3 if your battery's hard to get to, because I know some of the newer vehicles, the battery's all covered up and you just don't want to unplug everything or uncover everything just to get to it. You can also get a cigarette lighter adapter. ctex has got you covered. All right, so if you're that outdoorsy kind of person, don't worry, ctex has got you covered. You can take this along with you and charge like your electronics, like, like your cell phone, laptop, or any other electronic goodies into your, uh, the port here. It's a USB-C and a USB-A. So it's got you covered. But you're wondering if I don't have a car or a battery to charge this, and if it's dead, CTEX got you covered. You can get a uh, solar panel. You can charge the battery up within one hour. Unfortunately, I don't have it to show you guys right now, so we're just gonna have to use our imaginations. CTEX. All right, so if you're that type of person that likes to keep everything nice and neat and clean in your car, uh, CTEX has a storage case for the CS3. Um, Let's open it up, nice and simple. Goes right inside. Everything goes in here. All right guys, so who is the CS3 for? It's for everyone. Anybody that just, you can just put it in your car and it gives you that peace of mind with the adaptive boost. You can't go wrong, any one of your loved ones can just plug it in. If they're in stranded, they can always charge up their battery and get them on their way. And the, just the convenience, of course, hence the name CS Free. It gives you the mobility just to charge any of your devices on the go. And you can re, recharge it and top it up. And on top of that, if you're one of those guys that have multiple cars in your garage, and this will basically eliminate all the other ones. You can just use just one instead of like having one for lithium, one for AGM or uh, lead acid. This can do all of it in one package. This is just above and beyond all its competitors in the same category, I would say, but this is the goal too. It just outperforms everybody. So go out and get one. Just like I said, it just gives that peace of mind for your loved ones and just the convenience. All right, thanks to Sub60 Racing for helping me do this vlog. And also huge thanks to SeaTech Canada and SeaTech North America for supplying us the CS3. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, go to Smart charger.ca they should have everything online everything that i showed in this vlog is available or you can just hit up sub 60 racing they should be able to get you one don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in next week's vlog actually by the way c tech can i keep this or do i have to return it i know i i borrowed it from you guys but hopefully i can keep it thanks again see you guys